Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the newly released horror thriller uh, Annabelle. And I saw Annabelle today. I caught a matinee. I'm showing up a little bit late to the party, as is my custom, um, but that's for a reason, and I'll get into that more uh, later. Um, and I'd kind of thought about putting off this review, doing it in a day or two whenever I had a little bit more time. But I want to sort of squeeze it into my schedule now because I realized in a day or two, I'm probably not going to remember anything about this movie. As a matter of fact, right now, just hours from seeing the movie, my memory's already getting a little fuzzy. And really the plot of Annabelle isn't that important. All you need to know is that it's a spook house movie, as I like to call them. Think of the insidious films, The Conjuring. Annabelle's even being sold as like a prequel to The Conjuring. It's really a prequel to the first five minutes of The Conjuring and then has absolutely nothing to do with the other hour and a half or hour and 40 minutes or however long the movie was. The vast majority of The Conjuring, Annabelle has absolutely nothing to do with. Um, it is the story of a young couple. They move into a house. They are beset by this horrible incident that happens around um, this really creepy doll that the wife is just overjoyed to receive. And I can't imagine any woman opening up a box and seeing a doll like Annabelle inside of it and going, oh gosh, you know, how you found it. Oh, I've wanted it for so long. Really a doll like that? Come on. Uh, anyway, anyway, the doll then begins to do weird things or weird things start to happen around the doll. There's bumps in the night. Those bumps get louder and louder. There's an evil entity involved. Yada, yada, yada. If it sounds like Insidious or Insidious 2 or The Conjuring, it's because it is. It's because those kind of movies are what's popular now. And there's going to be even more of these kind of movies because Annabelle has made a ton of money at the box office and these movies are super cheap to make. Um, so, needless to say, there's going to be more. The only problem is... I like Insidious, I like Insidious 2, I like The Conjuring, and Annabelle, compared to those films that it's kind of, you know, stepping into the, the shoes of, um, isn't on the same level at all. It's the kind of movie where if you saw the trailer, you really don't necessarily need to see the movie. Some of the best scares they give you for free in the trailer. Now that's not to say Annabelle's not a bad movie. I didn't recognize the director's name or the writer's names associated with the film or, or, or any of the cast. The cast is good. The director does create some pretty decent moments of tension and suspense in the film. Um, there's one particularly good sequence involving a uh, un uncooperative uh, elevator that I thought was pretty cool, uh, that then leads out into like a stairwell, which also leads to a fairly good sequence out there. So the movie's got its moments. It's just that, you know, we've seen it done before and we've seen it done better. It just sort of reminded me of Insidious. Watching this movie reminded me of Insidious and how much better Insidious was. Or there were elements that reminded me of, of course, The Conjuring, and it just reminded me of how much better the Conjuring was than this. Um, it's just, you know, there's, 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 there's not a lot to really grasp onto in this film. It's all about the scares. And the scares for the most part are the big boo scares, the big loud, you know, it's quiet and then boom. It, it, there's, there's even scares in the film where it's just the soundtrack. It's just a big boom. That's what's scaring you. There's nothing actually on the screen. It's just a big loud boom on the soundtrack. A big bassy loud boom that scares you. Nothing jumps out. There's nothing around the corner. Um, they try and establish... Their, I noticed very early on in the movie that like every shot either had an open door in it or like a window. And now granted these movies all take place inside a house. So there's lots of open doors and windows inside a house but they were always sort of in the shot like sort of in the corner like to, to draw your attention like what that what's is there something peering in through this window is there something going to pass by this open doorway and that just sort of to me 
kind of it seemed like sleight of hand tactics to take you to, to have you focusing on that or on that instead of necessarily what was going on with the characters because there's really not a lot going on with them. Um, the, the characters make some questionable decisions. The characters don't necessarily seem genuine uh, in the film. Um, there are, like I said, a couple of decent moments in the movie. Uh, mostly boo scares. One good boo scare. Or not, not even a boo scare, but just a nice moment. They totally give away in the trailer. Um, which I, I have no idea why they would give away a good scene like that in the trailer. But, again, it's the kind of movie where if you've seen the trailer, in my opinion, you've kind of seen the movie. Uh, I caught the movie at a matinee, as I said. And uh, it's okay for a matinee if you've got an hour and 40 minutes to kill and you want to drop, you know, five, six bucks on a movie. Annabelle's fine if you're a horror fan, if you like Insidious, if you like Insidious 2, if you like The Conjuring. But I think you're just going to be reminded of how much better those movies are than Annabelle. Um, but, yeah, you know, this is... These are the movies that we can expect going forward. These kind of, you know, spook house, haunted house, you know, evil entity, possession type movies. Because, you know, we've had a, it's like every movement. We have a couple of good ones that make a lot of money. And then everybody starts cashing in and there for a while. You know, even some lesser ones are making a lot of money. And Annabelle is making a lot of money. So needless to say, we'll probably see an Annabelle 2. Uh, we're going to see Insidious Chapter 3. Uh, who knows, there might be another Conjuring movie in the works. There's just going to be a lot of these kind of spook house, bump in the night movies that are going to be um, coming out. Um, but to answer the question of why I arrived late to the party on this one and decided to wait until uh, you know, the middle, a Thursday afternoon to actually watch the movie. And there's a, um, there's a quote by Lorraine Warren, who is the, uh, the, the, the parapsychologist from The Conjuring, and they talk about her a little bit in in in, uh, in Annabelle. At the end of it, there's a quote from her that says, you know, we have to be diligent or something to that effect in the face of evil. Well, the reason why I go to matinees in the middle of the week is to avoid people. To avoid, not necessarily people, to avoid dumbasses. <laughs> to avoid the movie-going dumbasses. And to try and stand diligent in the face of the movie going dumbasses. And I'm sitting in my seat, I'm getting ready to watch Annabelle, and literally, probably 15 to 20 women, I want to call them girls, they acted like girls, they were women, young women, just file in, like, a, I don't know, like a band, I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was, it was just a group of girls, they all knew each other, they all sit a couple of rows behind me, they literally take up two rows. And the entire movie is giggling, gasping. Oh my God, what's that? What is that? Who is that? Where'd that go? Oh my God, we need to go to church. We've got to go to church after watching this. Oh my God, I need a, I need a Xanax. A Xanax, she said. A Xanax. Thus reminding me <laughs> of why I, even the Thursday afternoon matinee, uh, you cannot avoid the movie-going dumbasses. I don't know if it's just me. The last few times I've gone to the theater, uh, I've just been, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I've got, but you got to stand diligent in the face of the movie-going dumbasses who talk and gasp and, and, and giggle and, um, need a Xanax because, um, yeah, these movies just too, just too intense for them that they need a Xanax to take the edge off. And of course they want to tell the entire theater just how much they need a Xanax. Anyway, I uh, hope this review was uh, the, the video form of a Xanax for you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you saw Annabelle, please let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And uh, until next time, you guys take it easy.